Now, we mentioned that thousands of state workers got that extension yesterday, and one of the reasons that that's happening is because a lot of people started requesting exemptions from the mandate, personal exemptions for religious or medical reasons. Many of you have been asking us about that, saying how many state workers have requested those types of exemptions? So Kristen Severance, look for the answer. Governor Kate Brown's vaccine mandate is pretty straightforward. State employees need to be vaccinated or provide proof of a legitimate medical or religious reason why they can't be vaccinated or find a new job. So this mandate applies to more than 42,000 state employees. As of last week, about half of those have provided proof of vaccination. Now, those who haven't still have some time. Originally, Governor Brown set October 18th as the deadline. But after some pushback from one of the state's largest unions, many of those state employees, about 24,000, have an additional six weeks to get fully vaccinated. That brings us to November 30th. That means almost 60% of state employees facing the governor's mandate have that extra time, have until November 30th before they need to get vaccinated. The union said they negotiated a grace period for the people in the process of getting the vaccine or who have a pending exemption. They gave us a statement saying workers still need to have taken their first shot or applied for an exemption by that original deadline of October 18th. But this additional flexibility will make sure more people are able to come into compliance with the new policy. All right, let's talk about exemptions now. So we reached out to the state so far, nearly 2300 state employees have requested an exemption. That's about 5% of all state employees. Here's how that breaks down. So let's look at the state agencies with the most requests. So 642 people at the Department of Human Services have requested an exemption. 374 people who work for the Department of Corrections have requested an exemption. And then lastly, 183 people who work at the OHA, the Oregon Health Authority, have requested exemptions. Now of those requests, 90% were for religious reasons. Only 10% were for medical reasons. And we've showed you the form before. It's the one you fill out to request a religious exemption. On it, employees certify that their sincerely held religious belief prevents them from getting vaccinated. And remember, just because someone requests an exemption does not mean they'll be granted one. We talked to Jim Oleski about this. He's a professor of law at Lewis and Clark Law School. He's also a religious liberty and equal protection expert. HR is going to have to decide, do we, you know, accept this claim for religious exemption or not? Um, and in doing that, they probably will engage in the question of, well, is this person really sincerely have this religious belief? Or do they just, do they have anti-government views and they don't think the government should be able to tell them what to do? Um, but because that's not a basis for an accommodation, they're claiming a religious accommodation. You may be wondering how Oregon stacks up with other states. Let's take a look at Washington. We know that 4,300 state employees in Washington requested an exemption out of the 60,000 employees that have to get vaccinated. That's about 7%, a bit higher than the 5% of Oregon state employees who filled out those exemption request forms. We'll continue to check on these numbers and keep you updated. If you have a question, let us know. All you have to do is use that hashtag. Hey, Dan.